How to use Instagram as a complete beginner. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from How to Geek. In this guide video, I'll show you the way on how you can actually use Instagram app if you are a complete beginner to social media. But before we get started with the video, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. And without any further ado or delay, let's get started with today's video. Now, first of all, make sure you download or update the Instagram app from your respective app stores. Now, after that, you can also go ahead and create an account. You'll need either your phone number or either your email in order to go ahead and create an account if you're confused for it you can watch our other video where i'll basically show you how you can create an instagram account now after you create an account as you can see this is how it is going to look like by default it will show you a list of people that you can actually follow so you can see suggested for you you can just go ahead and follow them right from it if you want but if you want to search for a username or a person manually then just tap on this little search icon over here and just search for that particular person on this list once you search for that person their name is going to pop up and you just need to tap on their follow button in order to follow them now you can see this our home interface this is basically our notifications panel which is in the heart icon over here it will show you a list of people who have commented on your videos who have liked your post and so on if you want to go to the chats icon on the top right corner it is basically your dm slider which means that you can talk with people over here you can send them a dm you can video call them you can talk to them as you can see and you can facetime them and so on as well you can see some of the request sections you can see the general section some of the hidden messages and so on you just want to make sure you're aware of that if you want to create a story it's very simple all you need to do is simply swipe towards the right hand side like this and just take a photo or a video you can use some of the filters just like snapchat tiktoks and so on you can add a text if you really want to you can also add a layout you can choose a video if you want you can add a music to this story as well which is actually on the detail side of our video you can also shop on Instagram by the way which is basically known as Instagram shopping. You can see a list of fancy products. If you want to browse for a product you can just tap on it. If you don't know then we also have the reels section. Now keep in mind the reels option may not be available but when you just tap on a certain video you can see this little reels watermark. So which means if you just keep sliding you can see all the other reels which are available on Instagram as well and this is it for the first basic part now if we move on to our own profile page you can see that i have a business account there are two types of account one is professional and another is personal personal account can be private while professional account cannot be private because they're business accounts now basically you can see some of my posts which means i have posted some of the photos and so on you can see followers and following less if you go to the edit profile section over here and you'll be able to see your name your username your pronouns you can add a categories you can add your personal information settings such as your birthday your email addresses and so on you can go to the reels tab as to see what kind of reels you've posted and you can see some of the people who have tagged you this is basically like the highlight section like if you are familiar with facebook then they also have the featured section it is as similar to that because it's going to show you a brief overview of some of the past stories you can add them manually if you would like to if we move on to the settings section of our instagram account then if i go to settings over here you can see some of the notifications you want to receive or don't want to you can go to privacy you can turn on private account if you want to switch back into your main personal account then just go to accounts and select switch account type and select switch to personal account over here and you can switch to personal account in that way you can also link your facebook account and instagram account together so that whatever you post on a facebook account will also be posted on an instagram account and vice versa if you want to change the theme which means lighter dark theme which is just very very basic you can just go ahead and select light theme if you want to or you can select dark theme as well after that you can go to the help section if you have any type of issues with instagram if you want to delete your account you have to go to the help section as well you can go to supervision now this is basically a new feature which is released by instagram or meta themselves and after that you can go to security in case you forgot your password in case you want to see your login activity your save login information email security checkup and apps and websites i will also show you how you can post a particular photo just tap on the plus icon you can select you want to post a post or a story or you want to post a reel or you want to go live and this is simply some of the basic features if i select post over here you'll be asked to actually choose a photo so i'll just select a random photo you can actually crop this and drag it as well you can just select multiple as well and you can see some of the filters that you might want to use tap on the next button once you've done so and you can see some of the ad reminder settings and so on but this is it and this is some of the brief overview as to how you can use instagram as a complete beginner i hope i covered as much details and basics as possible if you want a detailed very very detailed breakdown tutorial on this then you can leave your questions and queries in the comment section below now, thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video